Sandy says read and welcome to the channel and welcome to day four of the year of the dragon. We are continuing our celebration of dragony stuff here on the channel. We're celebrating all the dragony things that we possibly can. <laughs> Today's red envelope contains da -da, a sticker. I know riveting, right? Uh, just track with me, you guys. It's a cute sticker. Let's see if I can get it up there without too much of a glare. I don't know. Can you guys see this all right? Yeah. Nice, right? I saw this on Etsy and decided, yeah, I was going to order that and have it for our dragony content during our Year of the Dragon celebration week. All right. It says, in a world of bookworms, be a book dragon. And we're going to talk about that for just a second. We are going to consult the text. The text is Beowulf, the Kleber edited edition. Let's look up in the Old English, the word for worm. Because, hang on, look, I'm on the wrong page. I thought I had it marked. Yes, okay, here we go. Worm is an Old English word for serpent or dragon. Back in, let's see. Um, da, 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 worm meaning dragon or serpent, wormis or worm, also meant worm, see draca, which is, you know, dragon. Um, we also have um, worm horde, which means a dragon's horde. So, you know, you guys, you can be a bookworm and be a book dragon at the same time. And I think that is cool. I think that's awesome and great. And that's it, you know? Tell me in the comments below if you consider yourself a bookworm or a book dragon. And please subscribe to the channel because the craziness and the zaniness happens all the time here. Yeah, that's it, you guys. Please continue to celebrate the Chinese New Year as the Year of the Dragon because it's cool and awesome. Thumbs up for the craziness. I've got to get to work. <laughs> yeah, there are things that I must be doing today. So enjoy day four. Day four, right? Yes. Enjoy day four of the Year of the Dragon. Thanks for tuning in.